Hello, my name is Leah Whitman Webster, and today I'm going to talk to you about advanced care at home or the role of the pharmacist in home hospital programs. I am an advanced care at home pharmacist team leader at Mayo Clinic in Florida, and I have my contact information here if you have any questions for me after the presentation. So the first thing people usually think when I say advanced care at home or home hospital is home health. And so I want to start by emphasizing that this is not a home health program. This is a revolutionary model of care in which acutely ill patients in an inpatient level of care are treated medically in the same way they would be in a brick and mortar hospital, except they're being managed in the comfort of their own homes. The program goals are to improve the patient experience and reduce costs without compromising the high quality acute medical care we can provide at Mayo Clinic. So as I said, essentially we are bringing the hospital to you. It is a virtual floor of our hospital in which the hospital beds are the patient's beds in their home. And we accomplish this by utilizing a hybrid care model that's coupling telehealth services. Patients have a technology kit and can interface with our providers and our nurses via telehealth. Um, and then also those providers are making home visits and we are partnering with about 18 different service providers in the community to provide hands-on services for medication administrations, rapid responses where needed. And this model of care is scalable for high acuity patients. So we treat indications from bacteremia, complicated infections, acute kidney injury, acute heart failure, exacerbations. Um, we've even treated bone marrow transplant patients and fresh kidney transplant patients. So the program at Mayo Clinic in Florida since its inception in 2020 has treated over 5,000 patients and saved almost 7,500 hospital bed days. So where does pharmacy fit into this model of care? Well, pharmacy is critical for this model of care. Um, as I mentioned, from a clinical perspective, these patients are managed exactly the same as they would be in a brick and mortar hospital. So any of these uh, pharmacokinetic consults, anticoagulation, antimicrobial stewardship, all of these things that would be happening in a brick and mortar hospital are still happening in the home. We're leveraging our EHR and medication administration record to work with pharmacotherapy plans in these patients. The difference is here the inpatient pharmacist sometimes also has to think about how can we optimize medication use for the home. So is there a less frequently administered medication that we can substitute? Is this antibiotic one that we can convert to a push antibiotic or perhaps a continuous infusion to try to reduce the amount of visits that interrupt the patient's schedule at their home? So there is a little, a little difference that most typical hospital pharmacy practice are, are not used to seeing. For distributive services, each home hospital program is either insourcing their medication, so they're dispensing from their inpatient pharmacy, or they're outsourcing, which means they are working with a vendor pharmacy to provide the medications and actually get them to the patient's home. Mayo Clinic Florida is currently working with a vendor pharmacy, so we outsource the majority of our medications. However, the inpatient pharmacy serves as a redundancy for medications that perhaps our vendors don't have access to or can't provide in a needed timeline, we are able to step in and provide that medication as a backup. Lastly, though, leadership is absolutely important. It is so critical for pharmacy to be involved in leadership and quality improvement with these home hospital programs. As I said, it's a, it's a novel model of care, so there's lots of opportunity for improving medication safety, for tweaking policies and protocols to be more relevant for home administration, just in general, keeping the staff engaged. And that's, in our case, the inpatient pharmacy staff, as well as the outpatient pharmacy, and kind of serving as a liaison to try to push both sides outside of their comfort level to bring the best care that we can for our patients. Uh, and lastly, making sure that we are committed to engaging in research so that future hospitals that want to take on this endeavor are able to learn from our experience and push the practice to improvement in the future. So with that, I'll leave you with some informational links here if you want to learn more about hospital at home in general. Here is my contact information again if you want to reach out and have any questions. Thank you so very much.